What's going on everybody? I am back with another prize picks NFL player props video. This one gonna be breaking it down for the Monday Night Football slate. Giving you guys three picks to get you winning some money over here on prize picks as always. Hopefully, you tailed in week one. Started off with a strong start. Four and one. Unfortunately, Kyler Murray got pulled on the last drive. He was just shy of his fantasy score, and uh, due to the blowout coaching. Decided to pull him from that game if he had taken the field again, which I kind of anticipated him doing so, um, considering they really didn't move the ball that well. I thought it was going to be kind of a confidence-building drive. You know, put him back in there, at least try to move the ball. Didn't go that route, so we fell just short of the 5-0 sweep, but we went 4-1. We're on a 4-1 run. That is a great start. Hopefully you tailed. Hopefully you won some money. You should have. If you went with the 5-man, you would have doubled your money. If you mixed and matched that, you would have profited even more. So that's always the goal here on this channel. Give you guys as much value as possible for free. And if you do enjoy this content, would be greatly appreciated if you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future content that I upload. If you haven't checked out Price Picks, check them out today. It's a player props website where you can win money off of picking the over and under on things like players' passing yards, rushing yards, receiving yards, passing rushing yards, etc. Go ahead and use that promo code KJKDFS to receive an instant match on your first deposit up to $100 today. Again, you can use that link down below in the description as well. You can use the code, the link both to guarantee that deposit match. And if you are going to be very serious, I would highly recommend you check out the premium. If you're enjoying the free content, I can promise you're going to really enjoy the premium. I do have the prize picks college football package up and live. I do have the prize picks NFL package up and live. And the most popular one, the most bang for your buck is going to be the KJK DFS VIP member package. I would highly recommend you check that one out. You're going to get access to all my picks for all apps, all sports. I will be having underdog NFL packages as well and underdog content coming out here soon. I'm working really hard to get that up. But if you join the VIP member package, you already have all of that access immediately because every single pick that I lock in, Every single slip, every single value that I find on all apps, you're going to be the first one notified. Always tell those VIP members first, and we have a great community over there. Uh, making a lot of money throughout the year, so we are enjoying it, having a good time in that chat. We like to chat it up. Make, we got a lot of jokes, on-running jokes, and a bunch of good stuff as well. So it's not always serious, not always about the picks, but uh, of course, that's part of the game. We want to win money. Looking to continue to do so today. So let's talk about this Monday Night Football slate. I'm only going to go with three picks due to it only being a one gamer. Typically, I'm trying to put out five picks as much as possible to give you guys as much value for free. But uh, with it only being one game, I really want to lock in on three guys that I really like. So we will kick things off uh, with the away side in the Denver Broncos. We're going to talk about Mr. Russell Wilson visiting his old team here in Seattle. His team has a 25 and a half implied total here. They're a 303 favorite, so expected to put up some points on the board for sure. And we know how dynamic Russell Wilson is. He can get the job done through the air on the ground with his legs as well. And for that reason, I want to be targeting his fantasy score. I want to capture the upside of every single one of his passes, every single one of his rushes. If he runs the ball in for a touchdown, uh, that would not hurt our feelings either. I know a lot of people are on his passing touchdowns, the over one and a half. Uh, I've already gotten that question a ton this week. I think there's more edge in the fantasy score for that reason. Like I said, we know he can get the job done on the ground as well. If for some reason he decides he wants to run it in, if they get the ball in on the one and he does two QB sneaks, uh, I want to be getting that upside of the ground attack for Russell Wilson as well, not being limited to just his passing touchdown. So that's why I'm leaning the fantasy score here personally. I don't think the passing touchdowns is a bad pick, but I, I do think there's more edge in the fantasy score. So that's where I'm going to be leaning here in this game tonight for pick number one. I mean, it's kind of self-explanatory. We know Russell Wilson runs. We know he can throw the ball uh, effectively down the field with a deep ball. And he does have some pretty good weapons here as well on the outside with his new team and Corlin Sutton, Jerry Judy. Um, so I don't think he's going to have a difficult time moving the ball for the most part. Like I said, we can kind of capture the entire upside of on the ground through the air, etc. And I do have him projected for more than this 20 fantasy score. I do think we're getting a nice discount on this. I do think he scores at least into the uh, low twenties, if not the mid twenties and the 20 flat line uh, is definitely appealing to me. So pick number one, going to be rocking with the over 20 fantasy score here for Russell Wilson. That'll be pick number one. Pick number two. We're going to kick it on over to the other side with the Seattle Seahawks. Now, we talked about this game flow, 25 and a half implied total for the Broncos. So, I do expect Russell Wilson to do his job, get his team up in this ball game. That's going to lead to the Seattle Seahawks battling from behind and having to throw the ball off. And I think we're getting a nice discount on Geno Smith's passing yards over here on prize picks. Uh, you look at his passing yards line as far as where it's set. It's at 189 and a half on major sports books. This line is set much higher than that, and it's at even odds. So, a 209 and a half over under for his passing yards on major sports books with a 115 even line with prize picks only having at 189 and a half uh, we are getting a 20 passing yards discount on that the game flow matches up he's gonna have to throw downfield and when i look at geno smith's underlying metrics last year as far as his deep ball accuracy they, it looks really really good i mean he's actually better than russell wilson his counterpart on the other side of this game as far as the the, the deep ball metric 
um, on Pro Football Focus with a 91 deep ball passing grade as compared to Russell Wilson's only 89. That would put Geno Smith as the 15th best in the entire league, Russell Wilson as the 17th best. Now, Geno Smith does have a little bit of a smaller sample size, obviously, with him not starting as many ball games. so I will say that. As far as the attempts in the sample size, Geno Smith, that's an 11 attempted sample size. Russell Wilson, 75 attempts. So a little bit of a, lar- a small sample size if Geno were to throw some more passes. Uh, maybe not going to be better than Russell Wilson, but I think that just goes to show. I mean, the guy's got a pretty good arm, and he definitely throw the ball accurately down the field. And he's got some really good weapons on the outside in DK Metcalf, Tyler Lockett. And um, I think he's going to be set up for some success. Like I said, we're getting a discount here. They're going to be playing from behind. He's going to have to throw the ball. Maybe we get some garbage time. Uh, passing yards. That is fine with us. That won't hurt our feelings as long as the prop hits. So pick number two. Got to be rocking with the over 189.5 passing yards for Geno Smith. And pick number three. Last pick. We're going to be pairing him with what I would consider the best downfield threat for the Seattle Seahawks in the best matchup. He has the largest wide receiver cornerback matchup over the entire secondary here. And that is going to be Mr. Tyler Lockett. Uh, Really, really like him here. Once again, I'm going to be going with his passing yard. I'm sorry, receiving yards. So he's going to be on the receiving end of those passes from Geno. 46 and a half receiving yards. Once again, we are getting a discount on him as compared to major sports books on prize picks. We're looking at what sports books have his line set at as far as Mr. Lockett for his receiving yards. He's set at 50 and a half with even odds. So once again, we're getting a discount here similar to what we talked about with Geno um, on sports books, even odds at that 50 and a half mark. It's only 46 and a half on prize picks. And then when you're looking at Tyler Lockett's underlying metrics as far as his ability to go down the field and everything, uh, once again, really, really good. So we have the Geno Smith accurate down ball throws. And then when we're looking at Tyler Lockett, he is the premier top of the top cream of the crop as far as receiving grade with a 99.9 receiving grade. That's tied with only Jamar Chase. And then when we're looking at that's on deep ball passes, really, really good as far as his average depth of target as well. 30.6 average yards downfield for a target. Now, of course, his QB was Russell Wilson. Um, so it's a little bit of a different uh, you know, staff here as far as the Geno Smith being in there at the QB position. However, that does show you that uh, Tyler Lockett will run those deep routes. I mean, that's not going to change, in my opinion, as far as the Seattle offense. They're still going to want him to run those deep routes. It's going to give him the opportunity for those downfield targets. Then we talked about Geno Smith, even though he has a small sample size, has looked really, really good on those deep ball grades uh, as far as his downfield passes. So a lot of good things, I think, going on here for Tyler Lockett, Geno Smith connection. They're going to have to play from behind in the game. Tyler Lockett's being targeted downfield early and often. He's the best in the game as far as the route running, the catching and stuff. His grades are really, really good here. So pick number three, going to be rocking with the over 46 and a half receiving yards for Tyler Lockett. And that is my three picks to get you winning some money on prize picks tonight in the NFL for Monday Night Football. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future content that I upload. If you haven't checked out the premium content packages already, I don't know what you're waiting for. If you're playing the NFL every single week, would highly recommend that. If you don't know how to play MLB, um, WNBA is going on right now, as well as college football. I can definitely teach you a lot about those as well. So check that out. And if you haven't signed up for Price Picks, sign up today. Use that promo code KJKDFS to receive an instant match on your first deposit. You can click that link down below in the description. Get that free money offer. Lock in these picks. Start winning some money. Looking to go 3 0. Keep this hot streak going. Of course, always the goal. Wishing you all the best of luck on your NFL props tonight for the Monday Night Football game. And we will see you in the next one.